<laughs> okay. All right. So <clears throat> we have our expert Nordic walkers here today. You guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Karen. I'm Robin. Okay. So Karen and Robin are sisters who are, I just learned, compliant but not submissive. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to be directing them I mean, and giving you instruction. Now, they know how to do the Nordic walking, but they're going to pretend like they're beginners so that I give them instruction on the Nordic walking that you will then be able to take advantage of. Right, ladies? Yes. Okay. So, Nordic walking, I mean like walking in general, is beneficial because it's very low cost. The facility at which people can do it with is such that a child can do it, an eight-year-old can do it, or an 80-year-old can do it. And then you get the same benefits of regular walking, but it's turned up a notch as far as your caloric expenditure. <clears throat> so, you know, if you're interested in burning calories, to pick up the poles and add Nordic walking to your regimen is going to burn a lot more calories for you, right? <clears throat> it also is going to engage your core muscles, so your stomach, it's going to work your pectoral muscles, it's going to work your tricep muscles and make those more firm, right? And so and particularly ladies sometimes, you have a problem with the, uh, with the area over the triceps building up lots of <laughs> extra tissue. <laughs> And and it's not necessarily fat. Some of it is fat, but it's some of it. I tell people that you think it's fat, but it's not, because some of it is just uh, extra water, and you know, again, because uh, things are not really circulating. So, so this Nordic walking also improves that circulation, helps get rid of some of that uh, extra mass, you know, that's on the back of your arms that is so that can be unsightly. So Nordic walk, and there's other information on Nordic walking. I, I advise you to go to YouTube or some uh, uh, the extra strider. Uh, what is it? Extra strider. Extra strider. Go to that website. They'll give you walkingpose.com um, they have exercise uh, extra striders I have the leaky um, uh, walking poles they will have information also so but what we want to teach you today is just the basics of how to get started <clears throat> so the important thing starting off is setting your pole length uh, and again there'll be videos on YouTube that show you how to do that but you want your pole length to be such that when you take a stride as we'll show you here your pole automatically engages so you don't want to make this difficult so you're just going to and I think Karen your pose are a little uh, long <clears throat> but we'll, yeah we'll I think so we'll, we'll see when you start walking but um, so put your pose down there first put your pose down yeah set them down and so first what you're going to do is just walk your net with your natural gait and natural arm swing right so this is what you're going to replicate when, now, so you see how far their arms are going forward <clears throat> um, when they just naturally swing them, just sort of turn around and you can walk back. When they naturally swing, that is the same mechanics that you're going to replicate when you're holding the poles. You're not going to do anything different when you're holding the poles. You're going to walk just like they're walking now. So now we're going to pick up the poles. Robin is a local pediatrician, by the way. <laughs> okay, so now, <laughs> um, now we're going to start off just walking and letting the poles just lag behind. So just walking, letting the poles lag behind. All right, now you're going to go into your natural arm swing and just let that your rubber stopper there engage. Right, just like Robin is doing there hit the ground there and you're just pushing off with the rubber tips as they engage. It should just automatically engage like a ratchet uh, wrench engages. So that pole in his way should just naturally lock in right as you're walking normally. And then you see how Robin is holding her arms straight, right? Her uh, elbows straight. <clears throat> that gives you some more power. So when you're striking there, you're really pushing off if someone was to feel your triceps, they could feel those contracting. If someone was to feel your pectoral muscles, they'd feel those contracting. You're using your stomach muscles. So again, you're engaging lots of muscles that you would not normally engage if you were just walking. And then that is what accounts for the increased calorie expenditure. So again, this is easy. Anybody can do it. 
it burns calories, <coughs> also increases your metabolism. So in general, a great exercise that anybody can do and we highly recommend it. So we're gonna go ahead with our walk and if you have any questions, then just post it there on Facebook or YouTube or wherever you find this video. Bye-bye. <laughs>